Welcome back, everybody. Well, I got some good news. There's a DLC on sale, so I uh, splurged on it a bit. I got uh, Honest Hearts, Courier Stash, the Old World Blues, and all that stuff now. So, it looks like we're finally have the Ultimate Edition on our hands. I dumped all this into my inventory. I'm like the Courier Stash and add on and everything, so I'm over encumbered and I'm looking for somebody to sell all my uh, extra junk to. These guys look like traders, I'm sure they'll help me out, won't they? Oh, and who is this? Who we got here? Well, butter my butt and call me a biscuit if it ain't my old friend from Good Springs. You doing here, Victor? Don't rightly know. I just got the notion to make my way to New Vegas. Reckon I'll find out when I get there. Go to this place. Novak? Nice enough place, I suppose. But between you and me, when I roll into town, my skin started to itch. Watch yourself. Anyway. Be seeing you. Shake your ass. Watch yourself. Show it. Hey there. Well, welcome to you. You look tired from the road. Why don't you relax a spell? Let this fine town take care of you. We're in a little desert oasis, name of Novak. This is the Dino Delight Motel, and it's mine. Where's the man in checker coat? Well, he might have been wearing a fancy outfit, but he wasn't any kind of gentleman to me. Had his nose stuck so high in the air you couldn't see it above the clouds. City folk, they always think they deserve better than what they got. Those hoodlums he was with seemed to know Manny for some reason. He's our daytime sniper, up in the dinosaur's mouth. You don't say. Thumbs up, boys. Go see Cliff Briscoe at the Dino Bite gift shop and tell him I sent you. I think he gets lonely standing around in that dino belly all day. He'll be glad for the company. I bet. Of interest. Well, there's Dinky, the town mascot. He's a sight. You probably already saw him when you came in, but you can go up inside, too. Up the roadways to the west, there's Repcon. That's the old rocket factory. There's been some sinister characters out there lately, so you may want to stay clear. Other than that, nothing to do but take it easy and enjoy good company. Really? Well, up north a ways, you'll see a big tower. That's Helios 1. Used to be a power plant in its day. And there's a town just east of here called Nelson. Used to be such a quaint little place until those slavers took it over. But we got our wonderful snipers keeping an eye in that direction, and so far, the slavers have left us alone. What is this Repcon you speak of? I just know what I've heard. There's supposed to be some ghouls that went in a while back. Ever so often, there'll be a commotion from that direction. Explosions and such. Watch out for strangers! Hmm. Snow cone here. Welcome. Come. 
Welcome to the Dino Bite gift shop. My name's Cliff. If you're here for the T-Rex figurines, you're just in time. There's still a few left. Oh, hold me back. Do you have any Funko Pops? Bless her. Seems like every traveler I get in here tells me the same thing. They see the sign and think, gift shop? That's just too good to be true. But Jeannie May always points them back in my direction. Well, a friend of Jeannie's is a friend of mine. And my friends get a discount at my store. Damn right. Well, there's T-Rex figurines, of course. That's our bread and butter. We also have an assortment of the Repcon factory souvenirs, rockets, things of that nature. Wise guns and drugs? Guns? I, uh, well, yeah, I guess I might have a few. Darn it, no one ever buys the T-Rexes. What you got? Sure thing. Have a look. Come back soon now. Hey, we're free. It's a miracle. What? Radiation behind that door? What? Annie. What's going on, man? I'm Manny. I'm on security detail here. You see a rifle barrel sticking out of the dinosaur's mouth, you got a 50-50 shot at me. Otherwise, it's boom. Where did the town from? You name it. Anything that comes within a thousand yards that looks like trouble. Lately, we've been getting ghouls, coming from the road to Repcon out to the west. Quite a few last couple days. The big threat is the Legion coming from the east. If they decide to attack with a full force, they'll run us over. But so far, we've been lucky. Who's Boone? Boone's a sniper, same as me. Used to spot for him when we were enlisted with the NCR. After we got out, I talked him into settling down here. So, here we are. I'd introduce you, but uh, we're not so friendly right now. Oh? Me and his wife, we didn't see eye to eye on some things. We had some pretty big arguments. One day, she turns up missing, and he hasn't said a word to me since. Oh, really? Man, you name it. Drama. See, I grew up in North Vegas. Me and my cousins, we were some bad seeds. Got in with a gang, I loved it. Then something happened, and I couldn't handle it anymore. So, I enlisted, earned my future, brought down my best friend to share that future with me. And here was this woman, who was too good for it, trying to take him away. So yeah, I didn't see eye to eye with the bitch. Took my boat away. Is he gonna check your coat? Sure I know him. What do you want with him? He shot me in the head. Oh, Panthers. Must be something pretty important to be chasing a guy like that. Well, listen, I can definitely help you find him, but I've got problems of my own. Maybe we can do a trade. You need my help. There's something I need, too. Already? Novak, it's home for me now. I want that to be for good. I like it here, and I've left too many homes behind. But the only resource we got here is junk. Without that, people wouldn't have anything to trade. They don't have to leave. We get most of it up the road from the old rocket test site, but a bunch of ghouls showed up one day and took it over. We can't get in there now. Well, they gotta go, or this'll be a ghost town before long. Doesn't matter to me what you do. As long as the ghouls are out of there, that's good enough for me. Alrighty, I'll give the ghouls It'd a boot. it mean a lot to me. We're in a gang. Were they tough? I was in the cons, man. It doesn't get any badder. Yeah, see ya. Crazy guy around here. No bark or something.
will stand still, easy. I take the side entrance and you can just break straight in. so I can use it. There. There you go, see? Doesn't all look better? Those are beefy boys, they play quite a lot. Sixty one XP for that repair and stuff, isn't that nice? having a party out here. A Benton can, what a trigger. Get 
Oh, those are those ash piles where right they're. the way I was supposed to go, but... Hey. No cookies for you. batteries. They're worth quite a lot, but they're so heavy. bothered to use the laser rifle yet, have I? There's too much sunset sauce, really, you know. Guy told me to hurry on over, and here I am just poking around looking for treasure. Didn't say you could come up here.
L4. There you go. Did he? God, but are you ugly. Get upstairs and talk to Jason before I throw up just from looking at you. Cool. Your pranks won't work on me, Smooth Skin. They won't work on Jason either. Who smooth me, huh? Stop wasting my time, Smooth Skin. Go waste Jason's. Wait, calm me down, time well wasted. Jason, how's it going, man? Hello, Wanderer. Please forgive us our humble surroundings. Our true home awaits us in the far beyond. Have you come to help us complete the great journey? Yes, yes I have. Tools have been running at no back. And they've been shooting them down like animals, haven't they? You know it. Those ghouls were members of my flock, even after the madness consumed their minds. We never let them wander free. We kept them safe on the first floor. We kept them contained. The demons must have let them out. Somehow. And now they are lost forever, denied the salvation and healing glow of the far beyond. Please, Wanderer. Bear in mind that every feral ghoul you spare now is one that we can save later. Once the way is clear, our feral brothers and sisters will accompany us on the great journey. If there are any left. Demons, you say? The demons appeared from nowhere. Except it might be more accurate to say they never actually appeared at all. The demons are invisible. Where one of them stands, the most one sees is the air shimmering, like sunlight on water. They set upon us, as we were on our way to worship one morning. We had just entered the basement. My flock fought bravely, and killed a few, but at such cost. Nearly half of us died, or went missing. The rest of us retreated up here. One of the demons raved at us, but they have not tried to attack us since. Still, their demonic presence brought all progress towards the great journey 
to a standstill. But now you have come. Once again, the Creator has sent a human to help us across a seemingly insurmountable obstacle. Saved, you say? Did he bring ecstasy? Yes, over the intercom. Threats of death should we step outside. Guarantees of safety should we stay locked away. It went on for hours and did not always make sense. But that was the first day only. Since then, silence. Will you drive away the demons, Wanderer? Why not? Praise the Creator. Bless you, Wanderer. Bless us all. As soon as the underground has been rid of demons, preparations for the great journey can resume. I could just probably kill all these guys, it would still count as getting rid of them for the quest, wouldn't it? Hey. Go bother Jason, Smoothskin. I don't like having you around. Good idea. The feeling's mutual. Oh, yeah. Makeshift bedding. Save us just because. That Antler, we have a visitor, an assassin, more like. I say, kill it, Antler, for safe sake. Hmm. Okay, Antler, I'll ask. Ah, uh, hi, human. Why you come here? Rep of the ghouls. A human who is friend to ghouls. Suspicious. You meet the ones upstairs. Antler used intercom, told them stay put, but they want to come down in basement anyways. I cannot allow. My kin are not right in head like I am. They attack you on sight. Ghouls too. They crazy. Your ghoul friends have to wait until you find what Antler brought us to get. Ghoul friends. Uh, Good. Antler brought us here for a reason. Why was that, Antler? Right. A, a piece of paper. Shipment invoice. Hundreds of stealth boys sent here a, a long time ago. But stealth boys must be in the one room. One we don't search yet. The one we can't search. Why not? A ghoul, but not squishy like others. This ghoul is tough. I thought Antler said, send my kin into that room, but three died. Ghoul is a crack shot and set traps too. After I realized, I heard Antler wrong, so I locked the door to keep kin out and wait for Antler to tell me what to do. Then you come along. Antler says you are solution. Oh, who are you anyway? Me? I am devoted to Antler. But before Antler? Hmm. Captain once. Last name Davison. First name... Don't remember. I commanded a troop of Nikon, the Master's elite. A great honor. Very proud. Something happened. We wandered the desert. Life without Master was... hard. The others' minds going strange. Going crazy. But then... 
I found us new master. I found us Antler. Since then, everything's been going really well. Why not Mr. Hat? Ew. Told you already. Antler wants Nightkin to have all the stealth boys in the bad room with the ghoul. Alrighty. Yes, Antler says we leave here as soon as we get stealth boys. Let me give you key. Antler had me lock the door. The ghoul inside, not expecting a human. Maybe he don't shoot you. Maybe he will. Oh, I shoot back. And I bet he told you it's the creator's will for you to risk your ass instead of him, right? Yep. Well, good luck with that. I'd give you a hand, but no thanks. I may look like a corpse, but I'm partial to living. How do you get here? First off, I'm not trapped. This was a tactical choice, all right? I'm no match for those things out there. So I found a good defensive position, and I've been defending it, right? Oh, who am I fooling? I'm trapped. Name's Harlan. Pleased to meet you. What Hello, happened Harlan. was, I was escorting folks down to work when those things attacked us. Most of the fight was upstairs, but some folks panicked and made for the basement, and I went after them. Well, turns out there were even more of those bastards down here than upstairs. And things went to shit fast. I couldn't find the others. So I fell back to this room. Set up a nice little kill zone. End of story. Cozy little kill zone. You're different. Guess the outfit gives that away, huh? I never did buy into that religious mumbo jumbo with the robes and all that shit. It gets lonely out in the wastes, okay? And I don't have to tell you. That Bright's group has got some fine looking goulettes in it. Huh? Or maybe I would have to tell you. Anyway, I helped them out. And they kept me supplied with ammo and pleasant company. Hey, how did I get out of here? Huh. Well, you're polite. I'll give you that. If this was just between you and me, I'd do as you ask. But it's not. I had a friend with me when those mutant bastards came out of nowhere. She panicked and ran the wrong direction. Further into the basement, she's probably dead. But I ain't leaving until I know for sure. I'd have gone looking myself, except I wouldn't last a minute out there. You, on the other hand, seem pretty resourceful. Find my friend, and I'll get out of your way. Hello? Thanks. Let me know what you find out. Here's hoping she's okay. Davison, do you know anything about a certain female? Antler sings for stealth boys. Have you found them? Keep look. Huh. Ah. You legitimately startled me, sir.
You're mine! Your boy's trying to kill me, Davis. He did. Did you find my friend? Good news. I see. Well, spare me the details. Damn it. I'm gonna miss that crooked yellow smile. All right. You did your part, so I'll do mine. Look around up here if you want. I'm gonna make a break for Topside. Topside. I miss Topside. Jim and Sunberg, eh? Well, they're not here. A wild goose chase. Antler sings for step. Live! But invoice note said stealth boys were here. Why can't that note be true? What, Antler? But human could be lying. He's stealing the stealth boys for itself. Your lucky day, human. Antler, believe you. Nightkin will follow the new note to find stealth boys. Better be there. For real. No stealth boys for you. Hey, Dan. Is the way clear? Yes. Praise the Creator and bless you, Wanderer. The way is clear. I will lead my flock through the basement to the sacred site. I hope you will come find us there, Wanderer. There is much to be done. Oh, there is. I did 
da. I waited to speak with you one last time before I descended to the launch pad, Wanderer. I want you to know that we will remember for all eternity how you delivered us to the threshold of the Great Journey. Our preparations are nearly complete, but the rockets that will carry us to salvation are yet missing vital components. If you would still help us, Wanderer, speak to Chris. He can tell you what is missing. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. We will remember you always. What is this great journey? We wish to escape the barbarity of the wasteland, especially the violence and bigotry of its human inhabitants. The Creator has promised to my flock a new land, a place of safety and healing, a paradise in the far beyond. Preparations for the great journey were nearly complete <laughs> when the demons appeared. Think turn down the rockets, huh? Yes. The rockets will convey us to our promised land in the far beyond. Vision upon vision has confirmed it. What's the far beyond? I have glimpsed it only in visions, Wanderer, but what I have seen is truly miraculous. It is a place of light and healing. And I know in my soul that my flock will be safe there. What about Chris? After all that you have done for us, I suppose you deserve to know everything. When Chris came to us, we tried to convince him that he was human. But this only angered him. He seemed... lost. We decided to let him stay with us for a few days, over the course of which we learned that his technical skills far surpassed our own. It became clear that the Creator had sent him to us, to ensure the success of the Great Journey. Equally clear was that Chris should labor in blessed <laughs> ignorance of his humanity, and his inability to make the journey himself. It is no coincidence that two humans have been vital to the success of the Great Journey. It is my belief that the Creator sent you and Chris to expiate the sins of your kind against mine. Your Redeemers both. I have to leave him behind, you know. Such is the Creator's will. Vision upon vision has shown me that, were Chris to accompany us, he would die in minutes. The radiation around the launch pad alone would kill Chris in minutes. The radioactivity of the far beyond is much stronger. Hold the wall of his eyes, didn't you? I take no pleasure in hiding the truth from Chris. But it is the Creator's will to which I must submit. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. We will remember you always. No kiss. And Jason says that I am to cooperate with you on the final tasks necessary to launch the Great Journey. Oh. I was close to completing work on the rockets before we were driven into hiding on the top floor. Two components were missing. A quantity of isotope 239 igniting agent, and a set of thrust control modules. The igniting agent is highly radioactive and decays quickly. That's why we can't use the drums that leak down on the launch pad. It's no longer potent enough. I need you to find an intact, shielded container of the igniting agent. As for the thrust control modules, they were custom built for these rockets. Mm -hmm. They won't even yeah, launch yeah. without them. All right. Anything else? This my current test. Repcon has been ransacked so many times by scavengers. It's hard to know where the components might turn up, if they turn up. Jason has mentioned some industrial ruins to the east that are supposed to be highly radioactive. Fun. Later. Go off my back.
Their bottle cap looks trip already. Also can pill freezer. Hey, good for a second. Hi there, I'm Old Lady Gibson, or so they tell me. I've got odds and ends for sale, and I'm pretty good at fixing things too. You might have noticed the very large building just north of here. That's Helios One. The NCR runs the place, so it's off limits to prospectors. Yeah, hey, thrust modules around here. As it so happens, I do have some thrust modules, but they're expensive. Five hundred caps worth of expensive. Oh, really? I can swing that, I'm sure. Pleasure doing business with you. Oh yeah, I can Have you found the components we discussed? Yep. Indeed you did. And they seem to be in excellent condition. All I need now is the igniting agent we discussed earlier. I'd start by visiting... Later. You just can't put petrol in it, can you? No gasoline? Or even diesel? What does it say? Those are Asian drone. Love the suit. Let's get on in right now. To the red. Chris myself, Mr. Radical. Get it up. Good Chris first test flying colors. Overnight visit to Yuka. Mountain didn't go too deep because something big moving around further down the tunnel. I had a little high enough, even I was didn't feel like it. I was and I didn't even feel the tickle. Go red suit, go. Vomit all morning and splash the sewer your piss. Must be something I ate. Excellent. Golden scrap here by glowing container for measly fifty caps. Thing for a clerk field approved suit at higher level red levels. Holds up and going to open the pop jar goo. Open on me and pour it all over me. Come in this I had enough of it, oh yeah. Golden geckos. Take all that, oh yeah. This is way I want it. Five. The blow fly.
I have to kill him just me and Slugma. Have you found the components we discussed? Yes, that's the stuff. I have cancer now, the by the way. The container shielding must be intact or you'd be dead by now. Good to know. Yes, I'll tell Jason that the great journey can begin. We have everything we need to launch the rockets, Jason. Uh oh. We have everything we need to launch the rockets, Jason. The great journey can begin. Gather all. May the Creator guide my words and help me speak true. The Almighty Creator has seen fit to answer our prayers. The time has come for us to board the rockets and begin the great journey. Though it may seem that all humans despise us, the Creator has seen fit to instruct us differently. The journey ahead would have been impossible if not for the intercession of two human friends, one you, the other a long-abiding companion. To our new friend, we say thanks, and promise never to forget how we cleared from our path the but demons who sought to stay our idea. journey. But to Chris, we owe more than thanks. Chris, you have made this great journey oh. a reality. From this moment forward, you will be remembered as the saint of the great journey. We shall never forget you. I ask that you forgive us, Chris, and give us your blessing. And we bestow ours upon you. Seekers, more the rockets. Take your seats. The great journey awaits. To the promised land we go. To the far beyond. Hey. Morning. Go off without a hitch, I'm sure. Hello. We're going on a trip in our favorite rocket ship. Zooming through the sky, little Einstein. Let's try this here. Jaguar's little further the computer is set to take a non optimal route to the specified destination. You surmise of minor alterations, you can plot a course or take them. But open it closer to the intended destination. Sure. You can thank me later, boys, don't worry. Pity 
probably point some medicine next. Sneering imperialist. Combat would be nice, but, you know. With Flarner. Um. Alright guys, I'll tell you what, I'll just uh, call it here for now. I will thank you for watching as usual. The yeah, exciting bit. Hey, you can find me on Reddit, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, all those places. Feel free to comment, like, and subscribe as usual. And I'll see you later. Bye bye for now.